And finally, while you might be forgiven for thinking turtles only live in exotic countries, we're being urged here in Kent to be on the lookout for them, particularly in the county's lakes and ponds. Although they're not native, there are an increasing number of them being released into the wild, something which experts are worried could have a devastating impact on Kent's ecosystem. Tommaso Domidio has been speaking to those behind the project. They might not seem very dangerous at first sight, but according to experts, turtles could have a potentially catastrophic effect on Kent's biodiversity. In the world of nature conservation, when species are introduced into an environment, they can in fact represent a threat for native ecosystems. That's why Kent residents have been urged to take part in a tally and help spot turtles across the county. We actually started in spring 2019, so in spring summer we um, released it so that people could actually go onto our web page um, and then you can tick a couple of boxes that have some pictures of the turtle you think you've seen and you can also upload photos and gps locations the idea with the tally is uh, to try to get to understand the distribution of turtles that have been released in in, in the uk um, where are they how many are there what species there are and really are they actually causing any problems and is this an increasing problem they also say we're not supposed to pick up the reptiles as it is in fact illegal to release species that are not native to the uk countryside so by handling them they would then need to be brought into captivity with climatic changes and the potential there for maybe more to be out there for mating to maybe increase for that to kind of happen um, you know, we do need to keep a finger on the pulse, really. And uh, in addition, it's actually the welfare of the turtles themselves. Um, I think this is something that gets missed. As with everything, there's also been much discussion around the post-Brexit biodiversity strategy on invasive species across the UK. Further restrictions may be applied on keeping, selling and growing, which may result in many reptile breeders being forced to keep their animals for life rather than give them away or sell them. Therefore, many fear this could also lead to an increase in the number of animals being abandoned into the wild. At this moment in time, we have no understanding of how many turtles are kept in private homes. We have no understanding how many turtles are actually in the wild. What we're seeing since we've been involved now for two years on rehoming is the numbers coming into us are increasing year on year. And we have to find a solution to that. So next time you happen to be walking near your local lake or pond, Make sure you keep your eyes open, as you could make a big difference to the future of your local environment. Tommaso Di Midio for KMTV. Well, you've been watching Kent tonight live on KMTV. Plenty more news made just for Kent throughout the evening. From all of us here, enjoy the rest of your evening. We'll see you again at the same time tomorrow. Good night.